This is much more like a human-shaped spacecraft. Yes, it is. A, yeah, it's a human-shaped spacecraft. Yeah, your life depends on this. It has that reliability and that robustness built into it to protect you from all these things that could harm you. Okay, so here's how this spacesuit stops you from dying in space. First and foremost, the suit provides you an atmosphere, right? Um, it provides you oxygen that you can breathe and pressure that your body can, can operate in. The oxygen that I'm breathing right now comes from tubes running into the suit from this machine. But in the final suit, all of the oxygen and carbon dioxide being breathed in and out will be processed inside a big backpack, the primary life support system. As they're pumping oxygen into the suit with this machine, the pressure inside the suit for me is increasing. And that new higher pressure will be contained by the inner bladder layer. There are lots of layers to a spacesuit, but you can think of them in three major sections. Before I got into the suit, we got to see each of them being made. So what we have here is that bladder layer, right? So this is the layer of the glove that actually holds the pressure. If you want to know what these feel like, go find a pair of dishwashing gloves. It's basically similar, except with a really fancy proprietary material. Then on top of the bladder layer, there's a restraint layer that stops the whole thing from inflating like a balloon because of the pressure. And this restraint layer also defines how the suit can move. Astronauts need to practice how to move in a spacesuit with a model like this. This is what we call our 1G analog suit, or you can just think of it as a training training suit. This is what the astronauts will wear when they're doing ge geologic training out in, the, say, the desert somewhere. We use this to train them on what motions they can and can't do with tools. Um, and so we have a variety of different uh, joints and mobility elements that kind of teach the astronauts. So if you think about how your shoulder moves, it doesn't only move that way. That's one way you could lift your arm. So astronauts have to learn, lift your arm this way, like this. It was wild to actually feel that inside the suit. 